What's up, everybody? I'm Jordan from the Problematic Posse. I'm no, Grant from the Problematic Posse. And today we have the homie Chance joining us. What's up, Chance? Yo. And today we'll be discussing the big, big, big twist in Boruto, the most recent chapter, chapter 79. But before we get into that, make sure you guys like the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Check out the details. You'll find a link to our Twitch. Um, you'll find our Discord link. Join our Discord. Join our community so you can talk about anime and manga with us. Maybe even give us pictures and topics that we can talk about on here. And maybe we'll even have you on here one day talking with us. And like I said, we're going to talk about Boruto, but first, this. Ooh, I'm doing the shit, mama. Do it. I'm doing the shit, bitch. I check out the new fire. A little over quarter me. He caught me like two cents. Two six. I eat with the five stars. That perk got a nigga high. Right now I'm a five star. You can get part with the toy game. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the brand newest chapter in board. So chapter 79. After reading the chapter, I'm like, okay, I gotta talk about this with Grant. We gotta get on here and talk about this. And I board so for me, I don't know how chance and grant feel. I'm gonna get into it. But for me, it's been very, very slow for like the past couple of months. It even threatened probably I was going even probably going to drop it. Just wasn't really sure the direction we were going here. But in a so big, 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 big surprise twist, Boruto and Kawaki have now switched places in the Naruto world, where now Boruto is the outsider with no last name who has just killed the Hokage. And Kawaki is now the son of Naruto, the son of the Hokage, who grew up alongside all these other individuals on the right. Big, big, big twist. Didn't see this coming. I don't think anybody really saw it coming. Just out of nowhere has a lot of people, pretty much some pretty favorable reviews um, for this switch. A lot of people seem very excited about the direction of this. So I thought like, oh, this is the perfect, perfect, perfect topic for us to discuss this Sunday. So Chance. Because I guess I'll let you go first. How do you feel about the direction that Boruto is about to take place going forward? <clears throat> I think I think it's heading in the right direction. It's definitely getting to the juicy parts where it's like, okay, do you add a little more before the time skip? Or do you go straight to, get right to it and then just boom and then just have fans just fiending for like more the, um, information and everything? Or, man, it just... I'm just I'm just excited for where it's where it's gonna go because like you said it was kind of getting a little stale. Me, I label myself as a professional enjoyer, so I don't really get me like bummed out with Baruto's manga. Now the anime I left it alone for the past year. That's another thing. We'll talk about that a little later. But anyway, but as of now, manga's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. I'm glad they really brought back something, brought something to the table to have people to be like, okay to us here to stay and and like the anime i don't even bother the anime i realized a lot all that shit was filler and it's like eh, i just i don't think i don't think like i'm not a person who hates filler it just seemed i seen it didn't seem that interesting the few episodes i did watch of the filler so i was like eh, i'll just stick to the manga because the manga actually was pretty good the manga was actually pretty good to decent until like the most recent um chapters with ada and her joining the um village there's been like a whole bunch of exposition now a lot of them being ninjas I feel like they've been stuck in an apartment for months just talking to each other and i was like okay where is this going how's this you know why is it like this so grant how do you feel about the direction of boruto you excited about this you don't for somebody care that, for somebody that was not moved by boruto at all and for them to just put out a big ass like beginning of the series to put out that big ass scene of oh shit why borrow told him this nigga fight not even knowing not even knowing the stipulations the fact that Baruto is allegedly looking like a villain in the scene now instead of the hero and shit like that i've been waiting for this scene like since the shit started and i'm like reading the damn series i'm like what the fuck is this i don't i don't want to watch this i don't eat this shit, and then this is pulled me out there this is this is what a good plot twist looks like this is what it this is what it is and shit so I'm very happy about it. Um, like, for instance, it's very interesting. Like, imagine you the Hokage son, and you got swap like you got swap places with um, an outside rogue ninja. He's a rogue ninja now. You know, he's basically what like Itachi was. He's basically what Sasuke became at one point. You know, a lot of people really, really, really like really, really love Itachi. I got my gripes with Itachi's character. Um, I loved him at one point, kind of didn't like the direction that Kishimoto took him in and everything. But ultimately, 
so many people love Itachi. They love the rogue ninja role that like Sasuke even played in. Cause that's why a lot of people love Sasuke when he went rogue. We are getting a main character who is a rogue ninja. That's basically what we're being set up for. Like, and like, I, you know, Grant was talking about the like the very first episode or like even like the very first chapter of the manga where it shows Konoha like destroyed and then it shows like Kawaki versus Borso. And it's like, this is such a, that was such a, a great misdirection because we all assumed that, okay, Kawaki's going to be evil eventually. And he's going to come destroy the village eventually. I mean, we could see that coming. That's obvious here. But they flipped it where Kawaki still is kind of technically evil. I mean, at least he's insane or, or a psychopath. But instead of him potentially destroying the village, it could have been Boruto that destroyed the village. Like, kind of like, how do you guys, like, what are you looking forward to seeing happen now that Boruto is kind of like on the run? And like, how do you, what do you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Who's going to figure it out? My question is, who's going to figure it out first? If shit ain't right, if there's a way to figure it out, um, what, how much stronger Barto is going to get? Um, that's a big thing for me because, you know, like with his like abilities, with his, uh, and of course he had like a sword and shit, mm -hmm. um, and things like that. I'm going to, I'm going to see how far he kind of like goes into, uh, into getting stronger and what he do, like who will he meet, who will he, what will he do to, uh, to, I guess, step to the plate, I guess. I, I kind of, I think I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, how big, how big of a power jump are we going to see in Boruto between now and then while he's become a rogue ninja? Because I mean, I mean, I don't kind of, I guess it's kind of hard to gauge how strong Boruto is already because he's already a guinea that was doing like Hokage level missions already. So it's kind of like kind of hard to really tell exactly how much stronger he's going to become. But I think like something else that like I've thought about was the fact that, okay, we see Boruto has like Sasuke's like sword. He has Sasuke's like headband. And now I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, eventually we thought like, okay, maybe Sasuke dies at some point. He carries it on. But now that we know that Sasuke sees him as a villain, does he get... Does he get that sword by beating Sasuke? Does he get that sword by Sasuke realizing he's actually, you know, Naruto's son? Like, Chance, what, what are you thinking? What are you thinking about that? I think this is going to be like a ripple effect. There's going to be, as far as we've seen in the manga, we saw Sara does the first one to notice that he sums off. Mm -hmm. I think Sasuke may be the second one. I've seen so, some cut. So I'm about to say, I, I hate to cut you off. So I'm, I thought that like maybe I know we know for a fact Sarda knows that Boruto was Boruto, but mm. and I thought and everybody was like saying this Sasuke. But I just kind of realized something while we were sitting here and we was and like we had this like side by side panel here. You mm. can see everybody here looking at Boruto as an enemy except Sarda, and it even has Sasuke there. Yeah. So I think that means that even Sasuke sees him as like a, a threat as an enemy. I think it's just Sarda. For whatever reason, because I was thinking mm -hmm. myself, like, is it gonna be like an it's gonna be like a Chiha thing? Does it mean that like all the Uchiha on face only Sarda and um Sasuke are immune? But now it's looking like just Sarda's immune, just like Sarda's the only one who wasn't affected by Ada's like infatuation jutsu. Mm -hmm. So it's looking like like mm, it's looking like Sasuke is gonna be trying to hunt Boruto down too, which I think that's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. I think. Man, it's gonna be there's so much that I've not seen and saw and so many theories that I read too. But um being able to get his pretty much his whole persona and his powers potentially. Yeah. I think it may be just Pat. It could potentially be a fight. So so and it's like go ahead. Well, so what's your favorite theory that you've seen so far? Well, the one I'm about to say is not the one I've said, but now that I think about it, what if Barto gets the clothes because Momoshiki took over, killed Sasuke in, a, in a, one of those mm. rogue missions that he's on, or trying to protect his teacher, but he can't. And then boom, he gets the clothes and then and then he ends up just he's seen the more, where we at now. Yeah. He's seen more as a villain because he's already potentially killed Naruto. And mm -hmm. the fact that um the fact that he would then kill Sasuke would then have him like, you know, public enemy number one. It's like, okay, you've killed Hokage and you killed the Kage's right hand man. You are definitely, definitely, definitely evil. Um, there's no going, there's no redemption after that. Uh, 
Grant, what 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 do you what do you think, man? Like, have, what theories have you seen? Like, what what are you what are you hoping like happens during this uh, intermission, or, or do do you want it to jump straight to him being like older and on a run, or would you like to see him kind of struggle as like a younger ninja and then eventually the time skip? Like, what are you predicting? Is like the, the story can go. I want to. I just. I want to see how he gets to point A to point B because, like, in that little screen, like that little clip of Kawaki and Barso fighting, he will the fuck out this sword. He got the eye juices. He got all that shit. And I want to know how he got there. I want to know how uh how much stronger he got in the elite village tore up and shit. So I don't know if he got people. I don't know if he has people with him. I don't know if he did that by himself. All that other shit. So. That's one of the big things I'm looking forward to. So some people have kind of like hypothesized some people that like Four took a train under. And like, I kind of, let's assume Sasuke is somebody he can't train under because Sasuke sees him as an enemy. They pitched Orochimaru. They pitched um, Kabuto. And I saw someone pitch, I think his name is, what's, what's the what's the Jirai clone name? Is it Koji? Yeah. Yep, Koji. Who do, you, who do you guys think, or who do you guys want the most to see like Boruto train under? In his office, clearly he's not like he's not gonna be able to do this alone. He's clearly gonna have like some form of sensei, like the pair, like no, Kishimoto loved doing parallels, where like in the first, you know, the first in the first Naruto you had everybody, you know, Sasuke, um, Sasuke, um Naruto, and uh, Sakura. I don't know why I was playing on Sakura name. All had their own like mentors to show them how to become even greater ninja. Like Boruto clearly is going to need somebody to be his mentor. Um, who do you guys kind of like want to see that be or think it could be? Who's some ninja outside of Leaf Village who actually probably don't like the Leaf Village and will be like willing to help him? Oh, him well, Roshimaru would be like wild, wild as fuck. Because if, if I'm not mistaken, like, wouldn't he have like the most? I mean, he would have the most knowledge out of the three people that you just mentioned, right? And then, um, yes, and then not to mention his whole uh, snake, like his whole experimentation thing, the whole uh, snake shit, sage stuff. Mm-hmm. All that like, stuff, stuff, stuff. Like there, could, there would be a lot of shit you could pull from that. Uh, and who did you say the second person that you mentioned? Oh, I said Kabuto. But when I think about it, Kabuto, I think he got turned permanently good by the Nzangi. So like, I don't even know if he would like even help Boruto, but that's that's just somebody else who's out there. Who's a, he's an established character we know that's out there that's technically not Leaf Village affiliated that might help him. And the other one's Koji, the, the Jiraiya clone. That's all I want to see. I want to see that. I just I I guess I just want more screen time from him, just because we got a little bit of him, but not enough. Remind me, Chess, was he confirmed a clone? Was it was it, was that confirmed? I want to say yes. I, want, I can't remember if he was. I can't remember if he called himself Jiraiya's brother or somebody called him Jiraiya's brother. Or I can't remember. No. I, I can't like he. I feel like they hit us with the reveal and then he like died almost like right after that. And so I kind of like, well, I guess he's dead. So I don't have to like really think about him anymore. I can't quite remember. I, should, I'm not I think him. it was more of like he he died, but it was like off screen. Mm-hmm. So there's there's a chance that he could come back. I think but, I think he got to smoke the cigarettes. It was like, no, nah, he a Jiraiya clone. I made him specifically. For this purpose, and he doesn't even know it. I think that's what the, I think it got a cigarette. Said I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, Amato. I think he. Um, I think he actually he was able to get his DNA from the bottom of the ocean. You know, or that or that's what was implied. But that's just crazy. When you think yeah, about it. it is pretty crazy because nobody was able to get your eyes by it. Like even like, which that's kind of like a bigger like a bigger issue with like Boruto is like plot holes, plot holes, plot holes. Like I think the reason why. I, like Jirai wasn't like revived during the Great Ninja Wars because they couldn't find his body, but Amato could find his body. Like that doesn't right. really make sense to me. But uh, yeah. Other than that, guys, do you guys have any other any more thoughts on this big twist, this big reveal from Boruto? Couple of things. Couple of things I've seen on um, between TikTok and Twitter is just um, yeah. there's a potential that he can go back in time. Learn some, learn the ways of those. More, learn more about the Suzuki clan. Yeah. Um, there's another thing where they're saying Shikidi could be one of the few that can learn that Barto and um, Kawaki switch because of the bracelet that they have in common. 
Mm. And which is like pretty dope when you think about it. That'd be a nice touch. And I think um, there's potentially uh, the guy. What's the guy? Shiba, the um, the guy Osasuki that they talked about um, yes. towards the end. Yes. Potentially, he's still on Earth. Not him, but the body or something like that. Mm-hmm. But he could try to get some power from that. Uh, something, something like that. I don't know, but the theories are pretty great. They're pretty crazy, but. I try not to dig too or believe them too much just because you know their theories. Anything theories you don't want to spoil yourself too as well because sometimes mm-hmm. people be so they be so on the nail with it and then it's like oh well that's I read about this weeks ago on a theory. It was Suki yeah. clan like I get like the whole how karma functions and like the downloading uploading and all that stuff. I got to reread those chapters as well because mm-hmm. it, it gets a bit confusing. Um, exactly how all this stuff works, but yeah. What about you, Grant? Any any other thoughts? Yeah, this. chance that I ain't gonna lie to you. That going back in time shit, that that's intriguing. Cause and then the amount of shit that he could learn and then just bring back with him would be kind of just like that'd be pretty broken, honestly. Yeah. Well, and and like you know, they did it one time before with the anime canon uh-huh. um saga where they went in uh, he went back in time and saw Jiraiya, but that wasn't in the manga, so but then doing it for real this time, it can work out in his favor with the anime. One part, one thing we didn't mention was code. I forgot to mention code. Um, he's also going to be after Boruto as well because he thinks Boruto is the one that stole Ada from him, and also he thinks Boruto was the one who took the karma from him. So he's going to be on the run, not just from Leaf Village, but he's also going to run from Code, who is now fully awakened, plus has the um Jinjiriki on his side. So yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. Or tomorrow might be his best bet. That might yeah. be. It. That might. Yeah, be he it. gonna he gonna have to give a um, or tomorrow, because the other nations. Well, the other nations might. Ooh, if the other nations get involved, I think only the Leaf Village was affected. No, no, no. So, in the chapter, it actually showed like a shot of the entire world being affected by. It. So I think everyone. So when you when you, when you think about it, really, yeah. how many people love Naruto? Like Boruto might have made an enemy out of literally every single village. If the Leaf Village chooses to disclose information, because Leaf Village might be like, eh, we probably shouldn't tell people that our Hokage is dead. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a lot of times villages hide that kind of stuff. But in this instance, they might be like, well, Boruto's like a world hero. We gotta let people know and we gotta get more people to track down this guy who did it to him. So they have to know mm-hmm. how dangerous it is. So I can see them probably at least telling like Gara. So we could see Sand Village ninjas at the very least. Um going after uh Boruto. I'm gonna say this one thing then I'm gonna let y'all speak. Go ahead. Then if that's the case, if he's gonna be public en- enemy number one against the whole world, he's gotta go to the moon. Just like from the Naruto the last movie. Mm. With that Osasuki that was on the moon. Yes. He's got he's gotta be that. <laughs> and then that's how he's gonna get his eye and then he comes back. Has he awesome. got, you know the manga has the manga even like shown that like I know the anime shown but the special yeah. eye has a, has a manga even hinted at him having a special eye? I don't even think it has. I don't think so. I'm not too too familiar with the beginning of it. I've been like wondering, I've been wondering ever since I saw that like revealed in the anime, I was thinking to myself, like, so when are we gonna see this in the manga? And I don't think it's actually ever been like hinted at or even shown in the manga. So maybe, but maybe this is the time where they actually would. He would manifest. Yeah. And he also talked to the guy from, from the moon um, as well. Um, I can't. At the beginning of the anime, but I don't know if that was in the manga as well. Like you said, it, they ain't really mentioned it, so I don't really know. True. You got anything else, Grant? <laughs> you don't really speak on it too much. I don't think he's enjoying it until now. No. Now he's. I mean, I don't think Grant was the biggest fan of Boruto, which a lot of people weren't the biggest fan of Boruto. I wasn't, but like, but like, it peaked my This shit peaked my This is a really good part yeah. for this. It, it, ra- it, it really raised my eyebrows, too. I'm mean, somebody who was kind of like about to give up on it and was actually starting to get it. You know, I was about to join in on the Boruto hate. I was like, this Boruto suck, all this stuff. But now I'm like, oh, okay, this 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 has a chance of make, making his own path, and it's not being so much like oh, board Naruto and Sasuke save the day. Because now Naruto and Sasuke are the only opposite side of the main character. So this is I like hats off to Kishimoto. I think this is this has legitimate. Um, legs to become something really really great but all right i appreciate everybody for tuning in make sure you guys like subscribe to the channel check out them details 
make sure you guys um join the discourse follow us on twitch we play games every single night 8 30 p.m central time do not miss it we appreciate y'all all for tuning in you guys stay easy stay problematic we out I'm doing this shit, mama. Do it. I'm doing this shit, bitch. I check out the new fire. I look over quite a million. He caught me like two cents. I eat with the five stars. That perk got a nigga high.